Opt in or die, Holmes. Hey Rockstars, welcome back to the Videospot.net. My name is Owen Hemseth and today I'm going to be talking about optimal landing page design and how to design a landing page that really does what you want it to do, which is to convert your viewers into a lead. Now, let's start by, before we go to the diagram, kind of talking a little bit about what a landing page is. A landing page is any page that a viewer lands on after clicking an advertisement, whether it's a banner ad or a link in a search engine, but it's, it's designed for someone to land on and to move them forward. Now, there's different types of landing pages. You've got like a squeeze page, a product page, and, and all these, these different kinds of things. And I actually cover that in another video, which I'll put that thumbnail up here and you can watch that you know, when you want to. But we're going to be talking about a one-click landing page, like a squeeze page, okay, where you want like name in an email and move them forward. So if you're selling an ebook or maybe a video series or a membership, a free this, a free that, or also good uh, a good design template to use if you want to move them to the next to the next level. And I'm going to go over two different designs here that we can look at. Um, let's take a look over here at the whiteboard at 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 number one, and I want to show you some of the things that I've that I've done here. So this is a very tried and true landing page design for me. I've used it lots of times and different variations therein. But let's take a look at what we're doing here. First of all, there is no navigation on the page, none because I don't want people looking at all the different web pages that I've got my blog and, and my about us page. I don't want any of that. So I have a banner here that matches my branding, but it doesn't have any, I don't have any menu bar or anything like that. Okay, it's very key is to remove your branding or excuse me, to remove your um, navigation. But I do have a branded banner where my headline exists. Okay, so my headline is going to be in here and it's going to clearly identify the offer. So it might say something like, you know, five free landing page design templates, you know, and it lets me know exactly what I'm, what I'm, what's on that page, what I'm looking at. Over here, now our eyes read left to right, okay? So over here where my eyes start, this would be like an image or a video. Okay, so if you've got a video, you might want to put it there and it should be an autoplay video, right? It should, it should start as soon as I land on the page. And I know that you've probably heard things that are like, oh, you know, people say you should wait and, and let the viewer click. Da, da, da. That might be true on a blog or on a normal page in your website, but on a landing page, you have to, you have to hit them with that value proposition. If you're doing an ebook, this is where your ebook image would go. Okay, so your image or your video, and then over here are your opt-in circles, right? Or your opt-in square. So like your name and your email, or maybe just your email and a little headline that explains kind of what, you know, what it is you're doing there. Something very key about this though, never ask for, never ask for more information than you need to move them forward, right? So in my marketing, we like to have a first name basis with people. It's, it's part of what we do. So I need your name and your email. I really, I really only need your email. And notice that everything here is above the fold. Above the fold. Now, SEOs are gonna look at that and go, oh, well, you know, you're gonna decrease your scroll rate and you should have stuff below the fold and encourage a scroll. Again, that's web page stuff. This is a landing page. This is designed for conversion. Okay, so what I wanna do is I don't want them scrolling, right? And and I want them to just look at the page, decide it's for them, and move forward. Now. That all depends on the value of, of what it is that you're selling. If you're selling something, I, you know, I may not even use this design, but if you're, think about you go and you get a pack of gum and the cashier is like, hey, do you wanna get a pack of gum? And you're like, no. And she's like, oh, but you got, let me tell you about this gum. This gum is fantastic and, and da, 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 da. You know, you're kind of thinking like, why are you trying to sell me this gum, lady, right? It's, it's a dollar product. You don't need to sell the gum. You know what I mean? Now, if it's, a, if it's a $100 product, you might need to take some more time and nurture that sale. That's when you would go below the fold. And maybe you would do something like, you know, you would develop this in, in rows and columns. Rows and columns. So maybe you've got one, a one column row here that has another, you know, value statement. Let's just call it the value prop. And then maybe down here, you have a three column row, 
right? With testimonials. You know, and then as you move back down here, maybe you've got another image and then maybe you've got another opportunity to buy or to put in, you know, you can just kind of keep going down so that you've got, you know, you're going, 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 you're building value for, for that sale. But I try to keep it, if it's like an ebook offer or something simple, keep it above the fold and keep it to just these Keep it to just these. Now I'm gonna erase this. Let's look at one more landing page design and then we'll go. Okay, so we're back and I've got a blank slate here. Now, if you're in internet marketing, then you've probably heard of um, lead pages. You may have heard of like optimized press and these different things. Now I don't, I use optimized press. Uh, I don't think I'm an affiliate, I might be. Um, it's not a big part of what we do. Uh, but lead pages is, is cool. I don't use it. I don't like it. I think it's rigid, but they have some great designs and I'm going to show you one of their, one of their popular designs, um, for a landing page. So this is going to be more of like a product sale, right? So if you're actually selling a product and maybe you send an email out and you're going to a product page. So the email did the selling. Okay. Or maybe, or maybe they saw a Facebook ad and you're selling like, um, a pocket knife or, or, you know, something like a $25 product or less, something like that. Here's what I've seen as being very effective is, you know, you've got a real kind of high impact, you know, image here of whatever it is you're selling. And this is just a mythical something that I just drew up there, but you've got one big square image. And then, you know, something like this, that's just kind of like, you know, next step. And it's, that's, that's it, you know, and you've got your kind of below the fold here. You know, also a very popular design. I've used this myself, although I used it for a different, it was an opt in campaign and my results were not good. They were not good. You want to be converting at like 30 to 40% on a landing page, okay? 30% at a minimum. This, however, does very well for product sales because from here, you would go straight to a, uh, an order form and then you could complete the sale from there. So it's very important that you look at your landing page, you know, in three different ways. First, they click the ad, right? Second, I don't even need to write this down. First, they click the ad and then second, they go to your landing page. Third, you have to go to a confirmation page or some type of thank you page or a product page where they seal the deal. And that is the type of stuff that will convert for you faster and you know, it, you know, create for you a better conversion system. So let, let me know how you're doing by answering in the comments below. Do you build landing pages specifically or are you just using product pages and how are those converting for you? I'd love to know, I'd love to know where you're at with your marketing and how it is that we can be of service to you. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked the video that you saw here today and subscribe if it's your first time here. We got tons of great stuff coming up on website design and SEO. So I hope that we'll hear from you again. Thanks for watching. <laughs>